Usually our clients find out that they have been frauded or defrauded uh, when they take their car to a third party. For example, let's say you buy a car and um, it's you and your spouse and you drive the car for two years and then surprise, you're gonna have a baby and you realize that car is too small. So you take that car to a different dealership to trade it in for a bigger car. And then at that time, the new dealer will run a report, either a Carfax or an auto check, and then they tell you, Mr. Smith, we can't buy your car back for full price because it's been in an accident. Well, Mr. Smith knows that it wasn't in an accident during his ownership of the car. So at that time, he finds out that the vehicle was in an accident before it was even sold to him. That's the primary way people find out is when another party, either a dealership or sometimes even a mechanic. So let's say they get into a car accident or their car breaks down and then they take it to a mechanic. And if they were hit, let's say they were rear-ended and they take their car to a body shop and they tell the body shop guy, um, I was in an accident, can you please fix my car? Well, when the body shop mechanic does an inspection of the entire vehicle, he might find damage in parts of the vehicle that was not damaged during your accident. And then the body shop guy will say, hey, you were hit from behind, but did you know there's damage to the front bumper or the passenger door? And then that's another way people find out. And the advertised price is kind of tricky because the financing of vehicles can get kind of complicated. There's so many pieces of paper and so much information involved in the car buying transaction that people usually don't know that they're being sold the vehicle above the advertised price. Sometimes what happens is the client will come home. They bought the car, they're happy, they come home and they'll start looking through the paperwork and sometimes what prompted them to go and buy the car is an ad. They see it on the dealer's website or they see it on car gurus or auto trader and then they realize that let's say the car was advertised for $21,995 but then when they look on their contract it was really sold to them for $24,995 and that's a violation. So those are the three big auto fraud violations that we see.